There's so much information out there on what type of mattress you should get. There's different types of brands, there's layers, there's foams and features. And sometimes you feel like you need to be an engineer just to understand all this stuff. Then you have all the different prices and to add it all up, you can feel frustrated and stressed and confused, making the choice that you can really feel confident in making. Hi, I'm Dr. Woods from The Spinery and in this video, we're gonna pull back that curtain so you can feel relieved to get the simple facts when looking for a mattress so you can get that perfect night's sleep especially if you're someone who gets frustrated with that occasional nagging back pain. You know the type you get when you wake up and you just can't seem to shake off. Or maybe you slept eight or nine or 10 hours, but you woke up this morning, let's say, and you feel as if you didn't sleep at all, or maybe none of those apply to you. Perhaps you get great sleep, but you're frightened about hearing about the toxic compounds that might exist in your mattress or pillow, or maybe none of these apply to you. However, most of us spend one third of our life sleeping, so the materials you sleep on may have a significant effect on your health. So let's explain all the shop talk, let's the marketing jargon, let's look at the basic elements of most mattresses. Let's start with polyurethane foam, which is most common, or also known as PU foam. Now we have memory foam and we have basic PU foam here. And memory foam is more of a hybrid polyurethane foam. It was developed in the 1960s by NASA and it was formed by reacting a polyol and an isocyanate in the presence of a catalyst. They are both petrochemical products, which makes them extremely flammable. To minimize the flammable hazard in PU foams, industrial fire retardants are often added to these foams. And these foams uh, contain a fire retardant called PentaBDE, most commonly, and this is a brominated fire retardant. And so I'm not gonna make any claims here about uh, bromine and, and your health, but I, maybe do a cursory search on that. You know, what is bromide? What bromide, if you look in, the, 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 in chemistry, it would be in the seventh, column of the periodic table. It's a it's a halide or halogen, bromide, chloride, fluoride, fluoride, iodide, all those things. And what do they do to the body? I'll give you a hint, they kind of harden tissue. The benefits of PU foams or polyurethane foams is that they can isolate movement and vibration. And I'm sure you're familiar with that wine test that was always on TV during the 1980s, if you're old enough for that. And this is good news, especially if there's someone, more than one person in the bed with you, because if someone tosses and turns a lot, this will frustrate the partner. Uh, the parts that I'm not crazy about are the chemical odors or the off-gassing of chemical compounds. Also, there's a tendency to trap heat. It sleeps hot, which is actually a chemical reaction with your body heat. This allows memory foam to make, you know, that famous imprint. You ever see those pictures where someone puts their hand on memory foam, they take it away, and you get that imprint of shape. However, without the chemical compounds or without your body heat, there's no reaction. And this explains why memory foam mattresses can feel too hard when it's cold, or they virtually have no support when it's hot. And some manufacturers get around this and they avoid this by adding even more chemical compounds in an attempt to correct the overheating problem. I believe that those people complain about memory foam causing restlessness and circulation issues. I, I get like uh, emails a lot on this. This may be due to the feeling of being immobilized at first. You know, you get that feeling after a while that you're being stuck in like, like damp mud or damp sand. And every time you have to change positions, you have to heat the foam up all over again to achieve that sinking feeling. Next, we have natural latex. Now, natural latex is made from the sap of a rubber tree. It is whipped into a froth and then baked into a foam. It is a natural plant product. It is not a petrochemical product. Natural latex is much more porous than these other two types of foams, which makes it much more breathable. It typically sleeps cool as opposed to one of the biggest complaints about memory foam or PU foams is they sleep incredibly hot. Now, natural latex is instantly responsive, which I believe is better for alignment and more comfortable than memory foam or PU foams because you don't feel like you're being trapped in it, which allows for improved circulation and reduced muscle stiffness. Also, due to the resilient properties, natural latex is probably one of the best materials we could use to engineer and design mattresses and pillows. So let's take a look at the differences by doing a few tests. We'll first test the responsiveness. I will place a weight on each piece of foam and we're gonna test the recovery rates of these materials. When the weight is removed, the latex returns to its original shape instantly while memory foam has a longer recovery time. Now, memory foam has a low resilience, so it easily adjusts to the body's contours or the weight contour here, but the weight and the weight is completely trapped by the memory foam. But when we place the weight on latex, it conforms to the weight and it pushes back. And this is the difference, giving the weight more support. Next, we will perform a drop test in which I will drop a weight on the foams. The memory foam absorbs the impact, but offers little support. Look what happens when we drop the weight on natural latex. Latex has a natural resiliency and it springs back offering more support. And lastly, I will do an edge support test. I will place a weight on the edge of the foams and we will see if it rolls off. 
natural latex is resilient and doesn't allow the weight to roll off, which allows you to sleep closer to the edge of your mattress. When we place the same weight on the memory foam or PU foam, it rolls off instantly. Hey, I hope this video helped. I hope it took the mystique out of looking at mattresses and all this jargon and all this you know, shop talk that they could throw around there. Uh, we'd love to get your comments on this subject down below. And we would also love to have you join us. And if, so if you're not a member of our channel, you could please subscribe so you can, we'll keep you abreast of, of the latest information. And don't forget to hit that bell. And I will see you on our next video.